The Proud Tree Once upon a time, there are two trees right in the center of the forest. One was a fig tree and the other was a mango tree. The mango tree was gentle and jolly by nature. Every autumn, the birds would come to pick at its roots. Sparrows would build nests in his branches and the swallows would sing for him. The tree happily welcomed all the birds and sang with him. It was a generous tree. He would offer shape to passers-by and stand strong when the wind came to pay a visit. But the fig tree was not generous at all. He always cared too much about his looks. He was too proud of being taller and greener than a mango tree. He never let any birds rest on him and drop dry leaves on anyone who would try to sit under his shade. Why are you so proud of every tree has it its own shade? Really? Then why do they have to shade under my shade? You know why? Because not every tree has a shade as grand as mine. Talking to you is of no use. Hey, go away. Go to the mango tree over there. You all messing with my hairstyle. But you don't have hair. All right, then you are messing with my leaf style. Are you happy now? Come on, Fig. You only want to build a nest. You never let birds sit on you. They are beautiful and sing melodious songs. Ah, boring songs. And please, I am not letting anybody near my leaves. They will spoil my beautiful branches. You can let them sit on you. You are shorter than me, and you don't look, look that great anyway. Hey, watch it. Watch it. That's a very mean to say, Fig. Oh, that's fine, Breezy. I am not hurt. Being short is not a bad thing. I am happy with who I am. Days pass and nothing changed between the mango tree and the fig tree. For the mango tree would keep smiling and singing all day. The fig tree would not talk to anyone one day. A swarm of honeybees entered the forest, and Queen Bee saw the fig tree and was very impressed. This tree is big and strong. This would be perfect for our house. Excuse me, who said you could? I don't want your stinky honey all over my branches, and you will keep buzzing all day. I have better things to do. You are a tree, rooted at once not enough at artists. What do you mean you have better things to do? Whatever, whatever. you are not bringing those noisy little butter buzzers here. Fig, fig, they are honeybees. Honeybees are important to nature. They would always need trees to build their beehive. If we don't each help each other out, then how is nature going to stay in balance? Ah! If nature want me, wanted me to spoil my branches, it would not, not have made me so strong and beautiful. Cre I am a beautiful creation of nature, so I am going to keep myself beautiful for the sake of nature. And why are you lecturing me? If you care about nature, you'll do it. If you let these bees build a beehive on you, now if you excuse me. The mango tree was very hurt by the fig tree's words. But he chose not to react. He called out the to the swarm of bees and asked them to build a beehive on his branches instead. You are so kind and your so smell sweet. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you, my queen. I am honored. The bees build their hive on the mango tree and live there peacefully. The, the mango tree was not disturbed their, by their buzzing or the stickiness of the honey. The fig tree, on the other hand, continued to scream at everyone in sight. Hey, you little chit-chat is bothering me. Quiet down a little bit. You birds are so chirpy. Do you always have to sing after a point? It's just a noise chat sense. A few weeks later, two woodcutters came to the forest. They needed wood to build houses. They saw the mango tree and decided to cut it down. They found it perfect for their work. But one of them noticed something. Wait, what's that? It's a bee it's a beehive. Like the honeybees, most famous if we cut this tree. 
Wow, yes, let's find another mango tree. The woodcutters went ahead and saw the fig tree. He loved how tall the tree was. Let's start at the lowest part of the bark. And, sudden, and so, the woodcutters began to cut the fig tree. The fig tree began to cry, and they indeed didn't want to leave the forest. The forest. Suddenly, he missed the birds and swallows, and the swallows of the mango tree was watching all of this. He called out the honeybees. Hey bees, is anyone buzzing? Oh, Fig is in, is in trouble. We have to help him. Oh, please, he only scare us about himself. He's angry at everything in the first. What and why should we help for him? Because the same reason I asked him to help you, but he didn't help help Queenie. I am with behind this one mango. Fig is so proud of himself all the time. Had he left, and he left the let these the bees build the hive on him. The woodcutters would have left him alone. He is getting what he deserves. No breezy. However, fig behave must not define us. Only because someone is rude to us doesn't mean we should be rude to them. The forest is home to all of us. We can't leave fig when he needs us to most. Uh, uh, Mango is right. We have to help him. All the bees come, came out of the hive and flew to the woodcutters. They began to buzz near their ears and in front of their eyes. I can't see anything. Do you think I can't do anything? We need to get out of here. These bees will sting us. It will be playing for granted. You're the one who's sting on here. Let's get out of here. After the woodcutters were gone, the fig tree was very embarrassed of his behavior. I am so sorry, bees. You are the best to help me out after the way I behave. Don't thank us. Thank Mango. You never talked to him, treated him rudely, but he's the one who convinced us to help you. Really, Mango? I am so sorry. I have realized my mistake. We all have good qualities in us. We all are special in our own way. I will never act snooty and insult anyone ever again. Please forgive me, all of you. The fig tree had learned his lesson. From that day on, on, he never screamed at the breeze or the birds he sang mango tree and let the sparrow build nests on him. The mango tree and the fig tree stayed best friends forever.